Hi guys, this is James with Native Ads, and I'm going to walk you through a quick how-to of our Titan ad platform. Now, as you can see here, we're on a basic dashboard of your account. In a different video, we're going to go through all the diff different reporting and administrative options and how to interact with your dashboard. This video is going to focus, though, on just the basic setup of your account. First thing you need to do to create a campaign is specify what type of campaign you have. Two basic types are the direct response campaign or the basic editorial campaign. The key differences with these is with the direct response campaign, your ads would be linking to a landing page with a specific call to action, where your primary goal is to sell a product, have some sort of sign up, or gather some sort of information. A basic editorial campaign is simply driving traffic to your article pages to increase as many page views as possible. For this example, let's just set up a basic editorial campaign. Now, as you can see, there's four basic stages to the campaign setup. The stages that we haven't yet done are grayed out. Whatever we're working on currently is blue. And as you can see in a moment, as we complete the stages, they will be going green. First things first, basic campaign details. So we start off with naming our campaign. I would suggest having some sort of preset naming schema as most of our advertisers, whether they be direct response or editorial, end up with a number of campaigns. This especially is true if you're doing some A, B testing or A, B, C, D, E, F, G testing. You would need a variety of campaign names, but ideally following a set scheme to help with your optimization and your tracking. In this example, we're going to set up a jazz campaign. So let's go with jazz promotion. And thank you all for not laughing too loud at my slow typing and finger pecking. Let's go with jazzfest.com. Don't bother Googling it because I did just make it up. Now into our targeting. We have basic device targeting. Of course, all devices desktop which includes tablet or mobile. For this case, let's go with a desktop campaign. Geotargeting. Of course, you're able to target all countries as our network is very extensive and has high supply worldwide, so we could go with all countries. You have the option of including countries and specifying the particular countries you want to include, or if you want to include most but simply exclude certain ones, you're able to go with the exclude countries option. For this case, let's go with United States. You're then able to mine in a little bit further and go into either the entire country, the state, or the city or specific DMA, which is great if you're really wanting to fine tune this. Now in this case, because this is a jazz festival focusing into the San Francisco area, let's go with city or DMA and let's include cities. So let's include San Francisco. Let's also include San Jose as it is, let me see here, San Jose. Oh, my apologies. San Jose is included in the DMA. That almost looks like I made a mistake there, but I actually set that up on purpose to explain the power of the DMAs. It is that marketing area that if it is focusing on San Francisco, it includes Oakland, San Jose, and that entire Bay Area. So thank you very much, Titan. We're all set. Boy, are you intuitive. Now we can jump into our IAB categories. You're able to leave these categories blank if you like, or we can specify particular categories to help us focus your traffic. For this particular campaign, let's focus on arts and entertainment. Now into our tracking codes. All campaigns through Titan are set up automatically with a preset and pre-programmed UTM code for you to use. This automatically is appended to each of your ads to ensure that all details and statistics are pulled automatically into your Google Analytics. This code is preset and pre-programmed and doesn't require any changes whatsoever. 
And in fact, we suggest that you do not make any changes to this UTM code. Now, if you are well versed at the UTM codes and you have a particular type of analytics program that requires certain changes or specifications, then feel free to make those needed changes to the UTM code, but don't feel like you have to because it's automatically preset for you. Alrighty, now on to campaign schedule, uh, sorry, bidding and budgets. Now, obviously, this is a CPC based bid. It gives you the suggested bid for an editorial campaign of 10 to 25 cents. For desktop US traffic, we do have a lot of editorial campaigns and clients that are getting good high volumes of quality traffic in the 5 to 7 cent range for US desktop traffic. A big important lesson to remember in purchasing native is to ensure that you bid up to start with in order to be able to bid down. What I mean by that is you need to start off with a slightly higher bid to ensure that you gain traction across the network and then your great CTR of your amazing ads then start to come into effect in order to draw as much traffic as you can. So if our ideal CPC is a six cent CPC, we would want to start slightly higher for the first couple of days. So let's start at a nine cent CPC to begin with. After the first couple of days, we would then bring that down uh, to our ideal six cent range. Now our spending period, you can specify either daily, weekly, or monthly. I like to suggest a daily spend cap and adjusting it accordingly. Now you're able to set up a spending cap for as low as $20 for an editorial campaign, though the higher the spending cap, typically the higher the impression priority that you get. Let's go with a $1,000 spend cap for this one. Moving on to our campaign scheduling now, it comes up automatically to run continuously. You're also able to specify the start and end times that you would like. So for this particular campaign, rather than running continuously, I will have it start this coming Monday and run until the end of the month. Please, when you're setting these up, remember that there is up to two business days approval time for full approval of all ads across our network. So please keep that in mind when you're setting your start dates. We're now able to go into ad scheduling. This is where we get into our day parting as well as our bid parting which are some very powerful options in our platform. As you can see it comes up set automatically to show for the entire day and that's great we could leave this as is simply hit next and that would ensure that your campaign would run for the entire day at our preset nine cent. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna alter this to have this going at 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to add in an option to alter that so we can reduce our rates slightly during those nighttime hours. As, as I'm sure you guys are well aware, or even if you're not, I'm sure you can understand with basic common sense that the rate that you would have to pay in order to get good quality impressions and clicks at say two in the morning when the blurry eyed guys are staring at their phone compared to the middle of the day or prime time obviously there's a big difference there so nine cent bid during regular daytime and prime time hours you can most likely get a similar quality of traffic at a reduced rate during those overnight hours so we now have it set a higher bid during regular daytime and prime time hours and then expecting we can get the similar high quality and volume of traffic at a discounted rate during those evening hours. Now that brings us to our campaign optimization. This is really where uh, we try and make your life as easy as possible and as profitable as possible. First as far as our campaign distribution. You can either choose maximum distribution or premium brands only. This is your classic quantity versus quality conundrum. Maximum distribution would ensure maximum distribution across our entire network and all supply sources. Premium brands only would be for campaigns that are focused on truly high-end, high-quality, brand-safe advertising. 
Now, all traffic in our network is of the utmost quality, but the premium brands are even that further step up. Now into our campaign optimization. Now, as it says here, would you like native ads to automatically optimize your traffic to maximize page views? Well, of course we do. Who, want, who doesn't want to have things automated and maximized for them? Now, because this is an editorial campaign, it's asking us if we want to maximize page views. Had we chosen a direct response campaign, the option would have been given for us to automate and maximize our conversion optimization. Since this is page views, am I interested in page views? Well, heck, I'm an editorial advertiser. Of course I'm interested in page views. Now, what this optimization allows you to do is specify the number of clicks you would like to give this campaign an opportunity for. Once it achieves this number of clicks, it then institutes our page view goals. All editorial marketers and advertisers are well aware of what your profitability level is for page views. Let's say for this particular campaign, our profitability level is six page views. So what we are telling it now is give this campaign 25 clicks. Any referring widget that does not achieve the six page view minimum would then be paused. As this is a two-stage optimization, it then would give the ads a, an additional 25 clicks and then pause any of the ads themselves that are not achieving the desired page view level. This is all done through our analytics pixel. The analytics pixel, you can draw automatically through the account and have it sent to you. You simply place that in your header and on it or on every page on, within your site and we're able to automatically track and optimize all of your campaigns. This website name, you'll have to excuse me as I don't even remember what I had placed for the initial one, seeing as it was a made up scenario, but I'm pretty sure we said JazzFest, so let's just go with jazzfest.com. Again, when setting this up, ensure that you are placing your exact correct website URL to ensure that your pixel operates properly. And save. Now here, we are also able to set up any types of whitelists or blacklists. A lot of our advertisers have preset whitelists that they would like to start to only focus on those particular sources, and you're more than welcome to enter that, or a blacklist of the sites or sources that you're wanting to avoid. If you're unsure of what white or blacklists you would like to use, or how to best use them for your campaign success, please feel free to reach out to one of our support agents or your sales rep. That brings us to the end of the basic campaign setup, and we're now into the stage of setting up our creatives. The creatives for all native campaigns consist of three entities, the headline, the images, and the landing page. Now this is our bulk ad uploader, which is a great feature of our Titan platform. Those of you that have been media buyers for some time and have spent time on the other platforms direct are well aware at how cumbersome and time consuming creating the ads can be. What we've done is made your life a lot simpler and easier and ultimately more effective for your campaign by allowing you to in one shot load 10 images and 10 headlines and have the system automatically in seconds create up to 100 ad combinations. For this example, we won't load the full 10 and 10. We'll load three headlines and three images. So we'll do that now. We'll start with loading our headlines. Now, as you can see, it says one, row, one headline per row and a maximum of 70 characters. You also need to ensure that you utilize proper headline capitalization, which means all primary and key words within each sentence are capitalized. Please refrain from using all caps on certain words or excessive characters uh, because that may lead to your ads being denied. You then simply drag and drop your images into the section. As you can see, we've dropped in there our nine images. This will automatically then combine with our three headlines to create a number of ad combinations. 
The last thing we need to enter in there is our description. Now the description is optional, but it's nice to have an additional piece of data to go on. And depending on the supply source, it also uh, has that description show up. So it definitely can add to the success of your campaign. You're now wanting to enter in the destination URL or the landing page. This one being our jazzfest.com. Of course, you would want to enter in the exact URL of the particular article that your campaign is for. Now, we generate ads. Now, what would normally take quite a long time or the better portion of your day to create those combinations are created automatically in a number of seconds. An equal combination of all of the headlines and images that you have entered. This essentially gives you the ability of utilizing the optimization rather than guessing what combination of images and headlines are going to achieve the best results. You allow reality and the marketplace to dictate that by ensuring that our platform pauses any ads that are not achieving the results that you need. So we'll save and upload those ads. Now alternatively, you do have the option, rather than using the bulk ad uploader, though it definitely is advisable to use the bulk ad uploader, you do also have the option of going with an RSS feed to pull the information automatically from your account, or sorry, from your site, or you can certainly set up individual ads, but hey, why would you want to do an individual ad when you can do a whole bunch at once, nice and simply. And then the final thing prior to going live brings us to the funding page. You need to fund the campaign prior to that campaign going live. You're able to do that in a number of ways, either by wire, PayPal, or a simple credit card payment. And also, we have the great option of a net one daily credit card pre-authorization, which allows you to simply pre-authorize your credit card to be charged daily for your previous day's spend. Again, we try and make it as easy as possible for you and have as many different options. That's the basic campaign setup. I thank you very much for your time and patience with me. Any questions at all, feel free to contact us directly through our website or through your account manager or sales rep. Thanks a lot and happy advertising.